Well, hey, YouTube. Hey, everybody on X. It's Chuck. Here we are on FSD version 12.5.1.3. And even Elon says they're getting a little crazy with revision numbers. So, um, I don't know. This is still hardware 4 only. It is going a little bit wider on hardware 4. No hardware 3 updates. But let's do some unprotected left-hand turns today and see what we see. This is mostly for documentation purposes and it is Sunday morning at 1030. I do not expect this is going to be heavy traffic, but I do want to kind of just, you know, get this on, on tape or in film. A little stop here. We need to, don't go anywhere. Okay, he tapped his brakes. This is good. Got a little bit of traffic, got a small gap here and it's gonna go for it, I can tell. Here we go. And it's turned into a medium gap. One car coming and now it should roll. Smooth roll, great. Really good job. And here's the rear view camera just to see if we get any lane centering issues. Uh, it's drifting pretty far left. Um, it's not as bad as it was last time, but it definitely drifted a little left there on that one. Um, anyway, first one, good decision. I could tell when it was going to go. It was clear from the right, so it didn't have any sort of median issues. Let's grab another one. All right, here we come. Here's number two. There's our NHTSA stop. Somebody the other day asked me why am I keep calling it a NHTSA stop. It's kind of a, just a little bit of a joke that NHTSA is the one making us do that full stop. And it's wide open to the left. And we do probably going to wait here, pause for a fast approaching car in the middle lane. He was going fast and it waited on that one. Didn't roll right into the left median. So that was really good. Um, I, it was as expected for low traffic. Uh, I, so I don't think that we have a, a major issue with the way it's deciding around whether to go in the left lane or the middle lane. I just like to make observations about what it's doing that time. Lane centering didn't seem to be an issue on that one. Um, what do you guys think? All right, let's try another one. I got to get some more traffic. All right, here's number three. Let's see if I get any lucky traffic this time. Um, all right, come on out a little bit further. There we go zero okay we got okay little traffic coming it's going to go for it. we have a lot of traffic coming from the right it should wait it should wait please wait please wait okay it's waiting that's good uh here we talking to the car okay left lane's open middle lane's open and there it goes and we got a big boat coming up behind us uh, i don't think our rear end was sticking out there if you could see that from the overhead shot that might be a good example of a big boat uh, on a trailer being hauled by a truck and i was in the median there in a nice weight position i didn't see him having to go around me too much so that was a good uh, good median position while we waited on traffic from the right, even though uh, we're not having a lot of traffic from the left uh, to deal with today. Let's try another one. All right, here we go again. Good old Nitsa, making me stop zero miles an hour, then making me creep. Uh, a little bit of traffic. Uh, oh, and then it widened up, wide open. All right, gonna be a roller here all the way through median yeah, that was great. It's making very quick dynamic decisions with low traffic. You know, I, I do notice that. You know, sometimes I talk about the car feels like it's thinking. Um, to me, it's in high traffic scenarios. It's doing these calculations. Sometimes you'll feel a nudge or a pause or some sort of behavior that just makes you, you know, anthropomorphize it and say, it's oh, it's thinking. It's not thinking. Uh, it's calculating. But with these low traffic scenarios, without much dynamics to calculate, I don't feel that thinking kind of a, a you know like an indecisiveness uh, it just goes and it rolls right through it so low traffic scenarios once again uh, proved to be no match um, for FSD 12.5.1.3 now um, so it's doing good I I'm not giving I'm not throwing much at it but uh, let's see if we can get a couple more complex ones before we finish up all right what chocolate did we get this time in our FSD unprotected left turn box of chocolates three cars and then a nice gap it's gonna go here we go traffic in the right it has to wait this time left learned oh we're our butt sticking out though did you see our butt sticking out and it allowed its butt to stick out even with this oncoming traffic coming here that was interesting it was a, maybe it was calculating that maybe it said oh I know my rear end sticking out I just gotta wait here for a second and then I'm gonna roll it if that's what it's doing Tesla AI okay I'm okay with that but if you're getting lazy and not going all the way into the median because you're just thinking of a plus b you know equals c that's not comfortable so I'm not going to knock you on the way that was but if I had to wait there that was a bad spot to wait anyway let's try another one all right next 
It's a thank you. Creep. A little bit of traffic. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, we got six cars. Something like that. It's got to wait. Looks like it's going to be wide open for the ride after it gets its cap here, but it's waiting in a good spot. And here we go. We're going to roll. And we're not even going to pause in the median because there's no cars coming from the right. And just like I said, it works great. So, ooh, look at that lane line. Oh my gosh, the tire hit the yellow on that one. Why? Ah, on a perfect unprotected left turn in low traffic. Then you do the lane centering bug. There's no cars around me. There's no cars even on the right behind me. Anyway, is it a bug? Is it a feature? What do you guys think? Okay, this is getting a little easy. Oh, wait, look, we got a car in front of us. There's our NHTSA stop. Now we got to give way. But you notice the car's not blue. They used to be blue when they were targets of concern or interest, right? Um, but look at that. He's out there. He is a little bit darker. We got some good traffic from the left this time. Wow. Something. Oh, and the auto wipers ruined it. Yeah, this could have been the one. But then you gave me an auto wiper wipe. Okay, we got a very small gap here, but we gotta let him go first. So if it even budges before he goes, it's a mistake. He's pre-rolling. Is he gonna pre-roll? Let's see what happens. He could be doing a U-turn. He's not. He, oh, and we verified, no pre-roll. We got a car from the right. It needs to wait. Oh, he's in the middle lane and it didn't even pause. I thought he was in the left lane. That's why I said that. Okay, that was a good one. We're gonna finish on that one because we had a lot of dynamics. Auto wipers, you ruined it. The decisions that the unprotected left-hand turn made were great. I saw the fast approaching car. Uh, had I given it another second, I might have noticed he wasn't in the, in the immediate lane, but he was coming so fast, I thought the car was going to wait. But it didn't wait because he knew he was in the middle lane. All right, let's finish up on that one. That was really nice, uh, Tesla. I, you, this is light to medium traffic on a couple of those. So this is not the uh, varsity test yet. You, uh, you, did, you did great though on everything you did, so I can't complain. Um, I don't think I disengaged even once there. Uh, stuck out your rear end a couple times, but I'm gonna give you the pass because you might've been calculating that you were getting ready to pre-roll. Scares me a little bit, but I'm gonna give you the pass because it didn't affect today's drive. What do you guys think about this? Give me comments in the feedback below. Do you want me to keep doing these unprotected left turns uh, on every single release? I will. I don't mind doing it. It's nice for me to look back in time too. Anyway, have a great day, everybody.